Biden and DHS looking for loophole to allow private companies to spy on Americans in violation of Constitution. So Biden is looking to outsource free speech and privacy violations to corporate state nationalists. That's essentially what we're talking about here. Now, this is from an editor's choice report, and, I, and we may or may not get to the other other stories in the editor's choice report. That's no me- never mind. That's makes no never mind. Biden administration is looking to contract out illegal spying on Americans to avoid lawsuits. Biden Department of Homeland Security spying U.S. citizens, private firms, contract. That's our key phrase we're going for, folks. So this is from Newsbusters. Big Brother. Biden team may partner with private firms to spy on Americans online. This is Alexander Hall. This is an excerpt from Alexander. Thank you, Alexander, for the excerpt, although you didn't personally give it to me, but what ifs? The Department of Homeland Security is limited in terms of how it monitors civilians, but under the Biden administration, it may recruit outside firms to do its bidding. The Biden administration is considering using outside firms to track extremist chatter by Americans online, an effort that would expand the government's ability to gather intelligence but could draw criticism over surveillance of U.S. citizens. CNN explains, could draw criticism. You notice how they they soft pedal that? Uh, Rather than saying the Biden administration is looking to illegally try to track U.S. citizens to find out who the DNC dissenters are so they could destroy their lives using corpo state powers, unaccountable corpo state powers. And they think they can get away with it by using corpo states rather than directly using government. By the way, is this uh, this sound a little bit like uh, fascism to you? Because it sounds a little bit in the in the clinical sense of the term, what fascism I mean, fascism is a lot of things and there's many versions of fascism. So saying what fascism is, is hard to pin down exactly. But in, in one, of, one of the underlying tactics of, quote unquote, fascism is to use corporations, to use businesses that are controlled by the government to do the dirty work of the government and have the government then what the government the government protects the corporations with its guns and the corporations can do what the government cannot do now in this case it's a little bit murky as far as whether you call it fascism or not because i think the corporations are more the leaders than the government it's really the corpo state nationalists who have the primary power in america not government not the government people in who who do families that derive their power from from government power that they don't have power in and of themselves and they're not looking to offset the corpo state nationalist power even as they exploit it it's complicated it's a bunch of ruthless killers that are looking to stab each other in the back the first chance they get so so that's the situation that we find ourselves in we actually find ourselves in a situation where the dnc if they did win the election They won the election by appealing to Americans' natural fear of actual white supremacism, racism, and bigotry. Things that were fundamentally unaligned with King Bill, the Bill of Rights. And they did so by saying, if we don't stop Trump and the Trumpians, it's going to be a fascist state. Meanwhile, what they are doing is, 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 is by the very definition of the term, fascism. They are fascist. At the very least, they're borrowing heavily from the fascists. These outside entities, by contrast, would access these private groups to gather large amounts of information that could help DHS identify key narratives as they emerge. You can be sure if you keep watching our show, The Daily Freedomist Show, you go to freedomist.com and you subscribe to our YouTube channels, the Black and Gold YouTube uh, Freedomist and the White and Gold YouTube Freedomist, and even our partner channel, Akchun Batza, B A Z A A C T I U I U N E. We will keep tracking this, and as we find out more information, we'll certainly share it with you. But I'm going to share just some of the, of, the, of the other headlines from this was our editor's choice report. From Sputnik News, Russian propaganda site, unapologetically topping regimes since 1950, netizens ridicule CIA over, quote, woke, unquote, recruitment ad. And then we have from the Federalist, Johnson set up a case study in how agencies use corrupt reporters. And this is uh, this is basically about the Washington Post and how it it ran its fake agitprop uh, CIA news, whether it's CIA or not. It's from the CIA playbook. Uh, uh, to to basically soft pedal the the rather sudden 
invasion of Rudy Giuliani's private space in what really appears to anybody but the DNC acolytes and their mindless followers that, uh, well, that this seems like a political hit piece, hit job, and that's certainly what it uh, appears to be. So they ran a fake news story that said that Giuliani knew about this all along and that you know if he cooperated more, it wouldn't have happened, but... Apparently, that was all completely fabricated. Nigeria stopping the rejection of old or torn USD notes underline why crypto is a better reserve cr- currency from Radar.Africa. Is the census wrong? This is from 538.com. I think I covered this uh, yesterday and uh, how that, that's a tactic that they're now going to be adapting. They're gonna, the very people that are trying to tell us that it's undemocratic to question the election results are questioning the census results. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's there's there is only there is only rule of power. And when I mean power, I mean physiological power with these folks. There's all types of power. Well, there's three main categories of power that I think of. There's genetic power, there's uh, ideational power and there's physiological power. Physiological power is when you rule directly through threat of death. And that's how this regime rules. And that's how the DNC rules. U.S. trade deficit surges to new record record shortfall with China rises from CNBC.com. And finally, Francis Far Right Leader. Francis Far Right Leader. Actually, I think that might actually... I don't know enough about her from what I do know. It does seem like you might actually legitimately be able to call her Far Right. So I'll I'll reserve judgment on that. Uh, But still, whether she is or isn't, she wasn't called Far Right Leader because she is. Anybody that opposes the corpo state nationalist, internationalist, whatever you want to call it, uh, program, they're Far Right. And uh, apparently she's been acquitted of hate speech charges so she can go forward with the election to try to unseat Macron but I don't think that I don't think that she's going to win and not because she won't win just because she won't win I'll let you figure that one out